gon' pull up with them sticks and hop out with them choppers Walking out the tent in blue Balenciagas I call her out now I got blood on blue Balenciagas What's going on guys, or should I say what to do YouTube, my name is Bear Witness and today we're talking about more NBA live gameplay, well we're not actually talking about it today, we're actually, well we are kind of talking about it and we're kind of just watching it, okay so I just got done with my first ever game and I'm not going to lie to you guys, there were some pretty fun moments. Now before we talk about those fun moments, I want to go ahead and cover some of the negative things I have to say and then we'll go into the positive things I had to say as well. Now first things first. The character models seem very like blobby. Now, you're like, what does that mean? Well, they're very lumpy. And I don't know if that was supposed to be represented as mus muscles or what. But when I look at the game, I don't necessarily see like accurate depictions of human beings. Instead, I see like, yeah, lumpiness. I don't know. I, I, I'm not a game creator. I don't know all the edges and textures and all that stuff, but I, I'm hoping that it's just because of the beta. I realize that it is a beta, and that's what most people are going to say when I have my negative comments about it, but like I said, I realize it is a beta, and that's why I'm giving it the benefit of the doubt on this situation. Another thing that I had a problem with is the fact that it's very... Like, it's not readily accessible about the camera angles. Like, you'll see in the gameplay that I try to change my camera angle and got another funny camera angle. I don't know why they start the camera angle off the way they do, but it's not a very good camera angle. And for anybody that was coming from 2K as a person, like, you want people to come from this game based on the fact that 2K is the bigger title. So, anybody coming from 2K is going to be like, what is this camera angle and uh, from a, that standpoint I feel like they should have already had that preset to a more natural feel so there's that now with that being said I also have I, I made a comment on my last video about the flowing uh, of the hair it still is very stiff but there is a little bit more movement and I kind of wanted to just give a little bit of heads up to that like that there is there's more movement and so I don't want you guys to think that I was you know stand all be all by that but I really do think that flowing hair should be kind of like the biggest start like it should be something that is already like predetermined before you even start playing the game or start making the game that on your human character models that flowing hair would be something that you would put in your game but like I said, I'm not a game creator, so I don't know the thought process that goes behind, you know, natural flowing human hair. But I think that, I, I, you know, I just don't know. Anyways, we're going to go and we're going to move on to the more positive notes of things that I liked. I definitely liked how it felt being a small forward in this game. Like, you, there is a presence, there is a way of movement, and it's just really, it's really cool. It's really cool. I actually I really enjoy it, but it doesn't seem like... It doesn't seem like it does in any other basketball game. Uh, we're not going to name drop here. But, yeah, it doesn't feel that way. And so, being a bigger character in this game, it almost feels like it's an advantage. I don't know if anybody else feels that, but if you do, make sure you guys leave a comment down below telling me what you guys thought of the NBA Live demo, if you guys have gotten a chance to play it. If you haven't yet, it's in the Xbox and PSN store. I don't know if it's on PC, but definitely go ahead and give it a check it out. And make sure that you guys come back and you tell me what you feel about it. Now... One more negative thing I want to say is that it seems like the biggest thing that everybody always says every year about EA is the fact that the dribbling is stiff. And I still see that. So that's the kind of the issue that I'm having with it. It's like I still see the stiffness. It feels like they haven't been able to really get that down. And at this current stage, I'm kind of like, I'm in that mode where I'm like, maybe you guys should just stick to Madden. Now, I don't know. Oh, how you guys feel about that but that's kind of where I'm at because it seems like the dribble mechanic is quite possibly too complex for them I don't know it might be a little harsh but yeah another cool thing that I found in the game was uh, the post mechanics playing in the post in this game is very fun but it kind of goes along with what I said originally which it feels like big men or a big in general whether you count a small fort as a big or not is somewhat overpowered um so I don't know maybe it was just the way I built my character I'm not positive if you guys are having the same luck make sure you guys hit it in the comments like I said earlier but I'm just curious now Last thing that we're going to touch on, there is a cool, it, it's probably already passed in the video by the time I talk about this, 
um, there is a very cool feature in which when you do something highlightable, they kind of take out their phone and record you. And I just, it was the one of the cooler things that I noticed of the game. Like it's very, it's a very cool feel. And I really enjoy the fact that they put that type of thing in the game. Um, aside from that, guys, I don't have very much else to talk to you guys about. So the rest of the gameplay is going to play out. I hope you guys enjoy it. We end up carrying the team, you know, put the team on our back. But that's besides the point. We were playing co-op with a couple other people. I don't even know. But, yeah, all in all, the experience was fun. The game is still stiff. And it's probably something that I wouldn't personally play. But I'm going to keep playing it for now and see if my thought process changes. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure you guys leave a like down below. And if you guys haven't joined Bear Squad, make sure you guys hit that sub button because we'll be producing more basketball content in the ways of 2K19 on August 31st as soon as the prelude drops. But for now, I'm out of here. Have a nice night, day, whatever you guys are watching this. Peace. We gon' pull up with them sticks and hop out with them choppers. Walking out the tin and blue Balenciagas.